God never has changed and God never will change. It's really crazy how we all grew up on lies. We all grew up hearing lies, seeing lies, being persuaded to believe lies, and accepting lies. If you are alive and grown today, you grew up hearing lies and you also accepted lies. And that's crazy because you grew up hearing how you should live, how you should think, things that you should do. And you really, you pattern yourself, you pattern your life, you actually become what you heard growing up because you really believed it. And a lot of the things that we heard made a whole lot of sense. But you will never understand how much you were lied to until you come into the truth. And when you finally get into the truth, that's when you realize, man, they lied to me. You realize your parents lied to you. The school lied to you. Other family members, they lied to you. The church you grew up in, they lied to you. I don't care who you are. It fits. They lied to you. The only thing that's the truth is the truth. And if they never knew the truth, they couldn't tell you the truth. So they end up telling us a lot of things that sounded really good, sounded great. They told us a lot of things that were true, but it was a lie at the same time. I know everybody ain't going to catch this, but they told us things like God is good. That's true, but... They told us stuff like God is a healer and that's true, but then they told us things like God will do that for you. That's true, but you really have to know and understand the truth in order to understand the things that you are told. You really have to know and understand the truth in order to understand the things that you were taught. If you don't know and understand the truth, you won't be able to tell the difference between the truth and the truth. You won't be able to tell the difference between a lie and a lie. And finally, if you don't know and understand the truth, you won't be able to tell the difference between the truth and the lie. I'll tell you one thing that is true. God never changes, never has, and never will. So whatever God was when you were growing up is what God is today. If they lied to you about what God was, you accepted that lie, and now that's what you believe God is. They told you a lie about what God would do. You accepted that lie. And now you really believe God should do what they said. 
you're waiting on God to live up to a lie. Christ said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. You have to understand, God never changes. God being the word, the word being Christ, Christ being the way, since God never changes, that means the way never changes. Since God never changes, that means the truth never changes. Since God never changes, that means the life never changes. Since God never changes, that means the word never changes. So the way will always be the way. The truth will always be the truth. The life will always be the life. The word will always be the word because God will always be God. But it's amazing how man, we have a certain way that we want things to work or a certain thing that we want to be done and we go about trying to make things happen in our own way or trying to make things happen in the way that man has set up for things to work. But the way is always the way. The way has always been the way. The way is always going to be the way. So God's system or God's design says the way to get things done is A, B, and C. So you come to God. God, I need money. God, I need a healing. God, I need a deliverance. God says, okay, in order to get what you want, you must do A, B, and and C. You must think the word, speak the word, and do the word. I don't care what it is you want. I don't care what it is you need. God says, I laid it out. A, B, and C. And then we take off for years and we do X, Y, and Z. Because man said X, Y, Z. And people try to tell us. They tried for years to get through to us. They tried to tell us that we needed to do A, B, and C. Some of them didn't understand it. Some of them couldn't explain it. But you either had somebody telling you about A, B, and C. Or you had somebody telling you about A, B, or C. Or you had somebody telling you about A. Somebody else telling you about B. And somebody different telling you about C. But either way, you ignored it. However it went, I ignored it. I didn't want nothing to do with A, B, or C. So I went to X, Y, Z. When X didn't work for years, I still didn't go back to what God said. I jumped to Y. When Y never worked for years, I still didn't go back to what God said. I jumped to Z. 
when Z didn't work for years, I still didn't go to do what God said. That's when the crying and the complaining started. But I'm still not willing to do what God said. I still don't want to hear about A, B, and C. So God just lets you do what you want to do. You want to go X, Y, Z? Go ahead. You want to hang out on X for years? Go ahead. You want to do it man's way? Go right ahead. You want to follow Satan's system? Go right ahead. And then, when you finally get fed up, and hopefully you get fed up, when you finally get tired, and I pray that one day you finally get tired, because that's what happened to me. I got fed up. I got sick and tired of X, Y, Z. I got sick and tired of my own way. I got sick and tired of man's way. And I finally came back to God and said, I need instructions. I need to know how to get what I need in life. I need to know how to live the life that I should be living. I need to know how to have the things that I need to have. I need to know how to prosper, how to be healed, how to be successful. After all these years, all God had for me was A, B, and C. Exactly what he said in the beginning. Because God's system is the way. The way has always been the way. And the way always will be the way.